Well, now that we know that we've got some potential uh, card openings and potential Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament stuff uh, that we might be doing on the channel, uh, at the, the Twitch channel, I can't put that on the main channel. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Answers in Genesis stuff. This is a, is a weird video. Um, so you know those, like, what's the best way to, what's the best way to describe it? You know those, like, heads, shoulders, knees, and toes types of things that you learned as a kid as a way to, like, memorize everything? And they seem pretty normal then. This one seems very kind of brainwashy. I mean, it's Answers in Genesis, so I don't know what I would expect. So that's a thing that we'll be seeing here in a second. But speaking of brainwashy... Uh, let's go ahead and get into the fan art section where Blue Feather has brought us something truly cursed. Apparently, now we have a Cirrus the Hedgehog uh, with 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 hips. That's that's a thing we have on the channel now. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to feel about this. I it exists. It it exists. As always, thank you very much for your fan art submission. If you feel like testing the, the various ways in which you can unravel my sanity, then the best way to do it is by submitting it into the fan art section on the Discord. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's go ahead and get into this this bit here. All right, Ken Ham Simps, do your thing. Hey, guys, Brian Oswald here from Answers in Genesis. If you took my program, The Bible Emotional Testament, these are the emotions that you learned in that particular class. I'm going to do them. I didn't take the class. I need a refresher. Is there a test? For you now. So you have them as a reference tool to come back to and watch and review and practice and hopefully share them with other people as well. So if you're ready, here we go. So wait, I got to share this with people? Oh, God. How the fuck am I going to how the fuck am I going to remember this? My memory is horrible. They are creation, fall, flood nations 4,000 years ago in Ur, Persian Gulf. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is just going to be like the random shit that evangelical young earth creationists believe condensed into something that kids are supposed to try to remember. I'm going to let you know right now, my attention span as a child was way too short to remember this to begin with. As an adult, it's even shorter. I, I feel as if I have unmedicated ADHD or something like it's just it's just not even here. Um, but we've already got a problem. Four thousand years ago. A dude thinks the flood happened four thousand years ago, uh, despite the fact that we don't have any evidence of said global flood to begin with. Four thousand years ago, dude. There is no evidence of it happening in that time frame. None. We've got. Radiometric dating that dates back farther than that. We've been able to date various geographic columns to figure out how old they are and what type of species died in that particular strata. And what we have not found is that a flood happened 4,000 years ago across the entire world unilaterally. Tastes like salt. Sarah, Abraham, Lot, Tara. Wait, tastes like salt. Okay. And then he's talking about Abraham, Lot, and Tara. I, uh... Who here is familiar with the story of Lot? I just, I just really want to know who here is familiar with, like, the entire story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Because this is not a story that I think should actually be taught to children in its, in its entirety. And if you read it in the Bible, then you will get it in its entirety. Here, let me go ahead and give you a very brief explanation. Of, of the story of Lot, the most moral man uh, in Sodom. God apparently said that he's going to blow the fuck up uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. He's going to he's going to flat out 15 kill streak Call of Duty those places. They're going to be gone, right? So not only is God about to do a whole fucking genocide, God had a gamer moment here. But in the middle of God's gamer moment, Abraham's like, wait, no, there's at least one moral person in, in, in Sodom, I swear. And apparently that person was Lot. So a, a bunch of angels go down to say hi to Lot to observe this man because the omniscient deity, uh, Yahweh, apparently did not have the ability 
to tell whether or not Lot was truly moral without sending representatives down it seems like a real inefficient way when you can just big brother your way out of this stuff, right? So uh, the angels come down. They say hi to Lot. They're like, hey, we're going to be here. And then there's like an angry mob uh, outside. Uh, and they're uh, what they want to do to the angels. They don't want to kill them. No, 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 no. Uh, they want to fuck them. They, they, they see those angels and they're like, hmm. I could use some Azamar titty. So they try to fuck the angels. And Lot brings the angels inside and then tells the group of people outside, don't try to fuck and molest these angels. They are my guests. But I do have a couple of daughters, though. Daughters that mind, at this point, were already engaged to other people. And Lot was just like, nah, I'm just going to push them on this random group for like a giant citywide Sodom orgy. And then, right, after this, God decides, fuck it, we're just going to blow up the city anyway. So Lot gets out with his family, except not his wife, because she becomes a salty hoe. Uh, and then they're in a cave, and Lot's daughters go, our husbands are dead. They're very dead. They're currently caught on fire because they were stupid. So they decide that they need to still have children. Now, despite the fact that these women are probably in their, what, teens, 20 something like they're young, right? Despite the fact that they're young and will have ample opportunity to find new partners, they decide that to carry on their family line, the best thing to do is to get their father incredibly drunk and then rape him. Just just flat out. Ride his dong in the cave so they could carry on the family line. And that was the story of the founding of Alabama. And I wish I was kidding, but this is the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. It, 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 this is paraphrased, but this is also in its entirety. This is everything that happened in there. So when you consider all of that in its entirety... All I've got to say is, why the fuck would you teach that story to kids? Why would you teach the story of the most moral man in Sodom trying to get his daughters molested by a crowd and then getting himself plastered in a cave and boned by his offspring? Why would you think that that is a story to give to kids? I just, I just had to go on that rant, because apparently in this memorization game, we have to remember Lot. And if kids are going to have to remember Lot, then there's a whole lot about Lot I want them to fucking remember. Tigris, Euphrates, Heron, Paradise, Promised Land, Mediterranean Sea, Sea of Galilee, Jordan River. Man, no kid's going to fucking remember all these hand signals. There are secret handshakes less complicated than this that kids can't fucking remember in clubhouses. And it gets them kicked out. And I'm not speaking from experience. I think. Dead Sea, Israel, Ishmael, Isaac, Esau, Jacob, Joseph, Egypt, Israel, Egypt, 400 years, bondage, Moses, let my people go. Pharaoh, no. Oh my god. This is just the whole Bible condensed into a thing. I guess we're going to talk about Pharaoh. Maybe we should talk about the fact that God literally hardened Pharaoh's heart. I, I guess that's a thing we probably need to bring up, right? Like, if you're going to teach kids about how wonderful God is as a person and then teach them about the Pharaoh, I just realized something. We didn't even talk about the reason that the flood happened. Everybody hears that the flood happened because people were super evil and God could not abide the evil, so he just did a genocide. Does uh, does anybody know like what the evil thing people were doing specifically was? Um, because if memory serves, it was that people were fucking angels and creating Nephilim. And apparently... I'm sorry for sniffing. I don't I don't know why that's happening. But apparently, um 
that sex was so divine that God had to wipe it out of fucking existence. But anyway, that bit out of the way, maybe let's talk about the bondage in Egypt real quick. And we're not talking about the fun kind of bondage. That kind of bondage can be found at DDLG Playground, where you could use my coupon code Cirrus to get 10% off of anything on the website. It also helps the channel out a whole bunch. No, we're talking about the kind of bondage where apparently slavery was involved. And it was bad. You know, not the fun kind of slavery. Again, BDSM, very different world. But... God specifically hardened Pharaoh's heart every time that Moses talked to the Pharaoh. Instead of God, like, coaxing Pharaoh to let the people go, God was like, nah. I gotta let him wait long enough for me to kill his kid. I gotta make this a fucking spectacle. Ten plagues, Passover, Red Sea, Mount Sinai, Ten Commandments, Tabernacle. Wait, Ten Commandments? I think you're missing 10 of them. <laughs> there are 20, good sir. There is one set of 10 commandments that got completely obliterated. And then there's the 10 commandments that actually made it into the Ark of the Covenant. The 10 commandments you're probably referring to are the ones that we commonly know. You know, thou shalt not steal, you know, adultery, bad, all that other fun stuff. I'm talking about the one where you're not supposed to boil a goat in its mother's milk. Which, I'm going to be honest, just sounds like one person just shoved that law in because he got really tired of the food his wife was making him. He got real tired. He thought it was really, like, not, not that flavorful. So he got real tired of it and just wrote it in as a law. Like, nope, it's now a religious law. My wife will no longer serve me goat stew. I don't like it. Levites and priests, offerings and feasts, counting the faces, Kadesh Oasis, 12 spies, wonders, dies, Moab, Moses, second law, Mount Nebo, Moses dies, Joshua, Jordan, Jericho, divide, conquer, south, north, divide, settle, 400 years of judges like Deborah, Gideon, Samson, everyone did that which is right in their own eyes. Man, let's not even talk about Samson. There's a whole video with me and Sander, uh, Xander Hall talking about Samson. Holy no. Except Ruth, Samuel, United Kingdom, 120 years. Saul, David, Solomon, Kingdom splits, 400 years. North, South. No kid is going to remember all this shit. No kid's going to remember all this. How the fuck? It's literally like, okay, as somebody who's read the Bible multiple times, going through all this shit when I was in school and we were reading it, going through it when I was going to church, going through it when I wanted to study theology, like, I still look at this and just go, this is not how I'd be able to remember all these events. This would get so clogged in my memory that this is... Okay, so do you want do, do you want a way for kids to remember shit? It's not going to be this. This is not going to make kids remember shit. The way that you get kids to remember something is putting it to music. The way that I learned the states was through Animaniacs. I'm not even kidding. Put it to music and kids will be able to remember it infinitely easier. Doing it this way, it's just random fucking words. And I know the context of the words because I've read the Bible. But if you don't know the full context to everything you're saying, it's just fucking words. And it's not going to... I, you're not going to remember. I don't even remember the first 50 seconds of this video. Israel, Judah, 19 kings, 20 kings, 0 good kings, 8 good kings. Prophets speak, shape up, or ship out. Assyria, Israel, scattered, Babylonia, Judah, exiled, 70 years, Persia. So wait, when is he going to talk about uh, the fact that Tyr was not destroyed as, as was prophesied? When is that going to come up in the history of the Bible? Judah returns. Zerubbabel, temple, Esther, queen, Ezra, people, Nehemiah, walls, 400 years, Christ. Okay. Uh. Yeah. 
The Old Testament. Now we know. I guess. I Yeah, guy needs a rhyme scheme. Guy needs music. Guy needs a rhyme scheme. Guy needs something. None of this is going to be remembered by a kid. A kid's halfway through this, a kid's going to look down at their iPhone and just go, Yeah, sure, why not? Jesus fucking Christ, you have to make this entertaining. This was the longest two minutes of my life. There you go, keep doing all, you'll have them in no time. See you guys. This man gets paid by Ken Ham. This man gets paid, I hope, a living wage to be incredibly ineffectual. Longest two minutes of my life. I just Okay. I got I got I have to put it up to the I have to put it up to the comment section. Guys, honestly, is this a way you would have been able to remember anything? I I need to know. I need your honest opinions. Has somebody tried to teach you something through this boring ass method and did it actually stick? I've got to fucking know. I have to know. This seems like an adult who forgot what it's like to be a kid. And in so doing, he forgot how to teach kids how to do shit. Oh, you, 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 you. Well, if you want to continue supporting my channel and what I do, uh, which hopefully is more entertaining than random ass sentences, then there's ways to do so in the description. If you are watching live, though, you can hit exclamation mark dono. That'll take you to the Streamlabs link. Uh, and if you donate anything towards there, then that would be absolutely fecking amazing. Uh, unlike subscriptions on Twitch, I receive 100% of everything that's done through uh, the dono link, as opposed to the Twitch subscriptions, where I receive 50% of everything that goes through. So, you do you. Either way, if you want to support the channel and what I do, that's the best way to do it. Uh, that said, though, subscribe if you haven't already, follow on Twitch if you haven't already, and, uh, yeah, no. That was boring. Insert end of video tagline here.